Hi, and welcome to Red Track Unlock Onboarding Videos. In this brief guide, we will discuss how to add web property to the Red Track. Let's proceed to your Red Track account. So, uh, in the previous videos, we already added the brand, and uh, so brand is available. Now you can add a web property associated with that brand. Uh, Unlock is limited to one web property, so but in the demo account we can add more and we'll use that for our advantage. So new, let's call it WooCom uh, demo website and let's uh, pick up the brand, that's important, and then give it URL. Uh, now, uh, these parameters are not essential. If you don't plan to use any redirects, you can leave it just here or basically have any uh, URL of the website you're promoting. Important, what will happen after when you click Save. When you click Save, we'll do a couple of things. First, we'll create the uh, channel and campaign for unattributed traffic with uh, the same name as your website URL to make it consistent. And we'll also generate a bunch of scripts that you will need to add tracking to the backend, either Shopify or WooCom, but how to add those scripts will be covered in the additional video. So let's uh, click uh, Save button and see what happens. Now we've done our uh, background magic. Uh, this is the script almost ready. We need to pick up the custom tracking domain, and that's the first step you do. It's also quite in the videos above. Uh, attribution model, we suggest keep it to last pet click and window to 90 days. Of course, you feel free to change it. It will adjust the uh, performance of Red Track. Uh, might be good, might be not good for you. So uh, this model is tested and uh, works for most of the cases. And then we have the script. And then we have conversion tracking for the Shopify. All the scripts ready. And for WooCommerce, again, all the instructions ready. We'll cover those two in the uh, separate standalone videos. Now, to finish up the video, let me show what has happened. So we now have this web property. We now have another uh, traffic channel. It will be a first channel, most likely. And we have another tracking campaign that will be used to capture all the traffic without tracking parameters. Please don't remove the channel or the campaign created by RedTrack as it will interfere with the performance of uh, the tracking and you lose some data. Thank you. This was Light from RedTrack. We uh, were doing an onboarding video for RedTrack Unlock and we covered how to add a web property to your account.